Hi everybody, this is Don Kamarechka with Photo Geek Weekly, and I thought I would share an interesting tip, uh, an oldie but a goodie, in how to sharpen your images with a new twist here in Photoshop. This technique uses the high pass filter in order to create perceived sharpness in certain edges and textures um, using a blending mode of a specially modified version of the image. So let's start off with some fundamentals to show you how this actually works. So the blending mode that we're going to be using today is called overlay. And what overlay does is it will enhance an image if it's darker or brighter than middle gray to be uh, forced darker or brighter along those lines. So just as a uh, as a background element here, let's create a uh, a color that is you know right in the middle, 128 uh, for red, green, and blue, which is middle gray. And if I create that color here, oops, let's try to do that on a new layer, which is what I intended to do. All right. If I change the blending mode here to overlay, you'll notice no difference in the image whatsoever. The blending mode will have no impact. But if I were to take this layer and uh, adjust this to be brighter, you'll notice that the image in the background becomes noticeably brighter. If I adjust this layer to be darker, you'll notice that the image becomes noticeably darker. That's where the overlay blending mode uh, comes in handy now, when it comes to adding a high pass filter to an image to enhance the sharpness. So what we're going to do, you can delete this layer, uh, is create a duplicate of our layer, uh, which you can right click and choose duplicate layer. The keyboard shortcut is command or control J uh, for that. And so we've got this background layer copy, which we are going to go under filter, other, and high pass. Now I typically find that the high pass filter uh, works best at somewhere around two to three pixels as a radius. Um, and the goal here is if we zoom in on the uh, the image is to create an edge that is on one side brighter and on one side darker. This is going to uh, in increase the perceived sharpness of the image overall. Uh, the challenge with this is it'll also sharpen noise in certain areas. So there's a second step that we're going to take to enhance that. Um, if you make this radius too big, then you're going to get glowing edges that really don't do you any favors here. And if you make it too small, uh, then the impact will just be way too minimal. So uh, adjust to taste, but maybe around two to three, uh, three pixels is going to be where the sweet spot is for you. Um, so if I click OK on that, and I take this now very strange version of the image uh, that you know is imperceptible to to what uh, what we're going to be looking at. If I change the blending mode to overlay, then we're going to notice a, a considerable perceived sharpness increase in certain areas. So if I turn this layer off, that's the original, and on you've got this nice little extra edge of sharpness in a lot of these areas. So again, that's without and with. So just edges things up nicely. I do this quite a bit when I'm trying to prepare something for print, and I want to make sure that everything comes through uh, as best as it can be for that medium. But if you're doing something that uh, might be a little bit soft in certain areas, this can be a huge help too. Again, this is without that filter, and with it, things just pop a little bit more. It's quite helpful for that. But the issue is, if you get into an area that has noise, um, this high pass filter will enhance the noise as well and I don't like when my noise gets stronger. So what I'll do as a secondary step is I will run this through the camera raw filter. I've got the uh, the high pass filtered uh, layer selected and in the camera raw filter here uh, just pop that up and zoom in on that. If I adjust my noise reduction settings here, so if I go to an area where I know has noise, like right down here where we were looking, uh, and I can see it clearly, those are noisy pixels that are on this layer, and that's enhancing the noise. If I go to my uh, detail pane and change the noise reduction adjustment, just to smooth that out, I am going to reduce the effectiveness in other parts of the frame, uh, but it's still going to be a marked improvement over, uh, over the original without this layer handy. So I click OK on that, and my noise is now no longer enhanced by this layer. It is static comparing to uh, the base noise profile, but the enhancement in the image itself is still present. And so if I go around to different parts of, say, this ant 
uh, and turn that layer off versus on, the eyes really stand out a lot more in this particular case. So um, that is how you use the high pass filter uh, with a little bit of camera raw noise reduction in order to smooth out any of the issues uh, that would uh, otherwise you wouldn't want to enhance like the noise to get a better result for print or just the final bit of polish on an image overall. Uh, if you enjoy this video, please subscribe and you can find more of our content on photogeekweekly.com. Thanks very much.